subscribe. It takes a couple of seconds. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well. Yeah, Linda. Okay. Uh, two things. One uh, on the on the Oris's Facebook page name. I think there's a misspelling, or is that on purpose? Oh, okay. So basically, I try to change it from Facebook, but Facebook is not letting me change it to. I think mm. it was a misspelling initially, and I tried to change it, but it's been so annoying changing it. Facebook is, yeah, Facebook wouldn't even allow me to change one of my uh, pages as well. Um, yeah, Facebook is really annoying like that. Yeah, but my Instagram, yeah, maybe like. It's like that, but it's just Facebook is so annoying with the change. You got it. And another thing I wanted to add is uh, earlier in the call, when we got started, you were talking about how you were getting a lot of ad scars and stuff. I think it's probably because when you go on mobile, your website, the logo header is really big. It's not like, uh, uh, like configured right. You could look at it, Andy, on her screen as well. Yeah, op open a new tab for us. Okay. And go to your website. That's a good catch, Inda. Man, you're fast. Yeah. Great stuff, Inda. <laughs> Just checking it out, man. And then click, go to the website, and then right click once it loads. Okay. Right click and. Man, like this store is like. Like this store works. Like I want to take a look at the store. Like I want to just show people that like this gets sales and this is like really like easily built. Um, it's it's nothing yeah. too fancy. It's and, and it's getting sales. All right, right click and then click in uh, inspect. Right click and inspect. Okay, right click and inspect. And it's built really good, like branded and everything. I like that. I do too, yeah. The logo is really nice looking and all your fonts are like sort of the same high-end looking font. Thank you, um, I did it. Try and spec again. Why is it not working? Oh. Huh. I guess you could just make it small, drag it to the left, make it narrow so it can make it look like it's on mobile. Make your screen like, make the Chrome browser narrow. I think because of the inspect thing is still loading oh maybe that's fine yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, uh -oh. oh i could share my screen i did it yeah that'd be awesome then. okay thank you yeah. Let's share what screen it's screen two okay so like that let me refresh it oh, oh. it's too big like i said product page they land it's too big it should be like that and there's barely scroll and buy now okay okay i would I, i'll try and adjust that i don't know how i'll do that but i'll try and adjust that thank yeah. you maybe your image itself has like white boxes above and below it so maybe oh. load a logo where it's just the text only okay okay Okay. And then yeah, in the so scroll down, and it's a unmade logo. <laughs> so maybe that's why, but I'll, yeah, I'll change it. Okay. Let's see if there's any other tips we can provide. Um, so, I think I was going to say, like, I'm pretty like surprised that like this is able to get sales. And then how many sales have you gotten, Oris? Um, from this shoe, like this from month, whole store. I've made from this this month, um, I've made two thousand seven hundred dollars. Wow! How about your total in the last year? Because I haven't been. I remember I've taken a. I took a break from. Oh yeah, I remember. November. So I just started in April again. Oh so wow, April, that's really good. Because yeah. I think the first impression is the store looks a bit old school, but I guess maybe that makes it work somehow. Um, I don't want to suggest too many changes because this I is... Don't, I don't mind changes because the sales has really dropped. So maybe because it's looking old school, maybe that's why. Uh, the, footer how looks, the footer definitely looks a bit like... A bit like... The, the font is a bit old school-ish. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's see. We'll, we'll open up a demo store from... Are there any cool Shopify stores 
that that let me see if I can find a Shopify store that has a free theme. What's a cool big drop shipping store? Try um Yeah, get my IP MS. Uh can I just debutify? Yes, how much does debutify cost in Raj? Because it's paid, right? I think it's free. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I think uh, well, it will uh, go perfectly with a branded store like this one. Yeah. Oh, it's called the Beautify. Yeah. Yeah, it's this one. Beautify. But there's like levels to it and stuff. So the pre version is like very sim- simple. Like on the theme, like the product page, it would just be a simple product page. But it'll be smooth like this. Like you won't get that. It will look very branded for your store. I think Debutify will be the best option. So should I pay for it? Because that's what. Do the free version. Start with uh, the free version. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Since I do okay. have a. Can I give you some in, insight yeah, on that? Don't use the three point one because the currency converter doesn't work properly. I've been waiting for them to fix it. So this doesn't work properly on the three point one. Try the two point or something. That one's working pretty good, but anything over three point oh, it's not, they failed to fix some issues, and it's been over a month, so they're kind of lagging on that. But other than that, uh, it works really good. Okay, is it on Shopify app? Is it on the Shopify app or is huh? no? You have to go go to the debutify dot com and then just follow for your download. Since the launch has been waiting, and I do have to leave soon, let me quickly answer the Rod. Yeah. Question. Thanks for joining, Naraj. And then, yeah, man. Uh, so, how's your new G wagon? First of all, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, glad to see that. <laughs> uh, and so, my question is like, uh, my add-on got disabled, so I'm not sure like if it's different from band or something like that. And I just want to know the gravity of the situation and what I can do about it. Got it. Now, is your business manager disabled or is it just your ad account? Uh, let me show you the notification I got. Can I hey, Andy, why, why? Yeah. Andy, while we're waiting on that, give you an update on the Western Union for like cash on delivery. Yeah. Uh, I'm just replying back to uh, customers' messages and stuff. So they're asking if they're, if I do cash on delivery and stuff. And I'm telling them, I'm thinking Western Union through an employee. I'm not saying I'm getting it through an employee. So like one of them is ID expired. So they're going to wait for that. And the second one said, okay, send me the details. So I think that probably the new way for like third world countries because they don't have credit cards. You could just watch your need the money once you receive it and then send the product out. Oh, okay. So cash and delivery, they'll go to their nearest Western Union, transfer their money to your bank account, and then you ship them the item straight to their address? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Just always only ship it out once you receive the money. And since that's that does that, that would work for sure. Yep. Okay, Naraj, account restricted. Is your personal Facebook, is this your personal, oh, wow. So it looks like your personal Facebook account is restricted and you can't advertise personally. Now, is your business manager restricted if you go to your business manager, Naraj? Um, just a minute. No, what I have observed is that um, whatever cam- uh, ad sets are running currently, there, there's no problem in that. They are running continuously. Oh, they're still active. I'm not, yeah, I'm not able to launch new ones. Oh, wow. And, so your ad account, it should, your account is not banned. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is actually not too bad because you would be able to create a new, oh no, have user friends or person like a family member's Facebook account and attach yourself to the business manager. Okay. So what you do, so I was, you go to your business manager and go to the settings and then go to users. And then on users, add in another Facebook account. Okay. So oh. I was kind of hoping to, you know, 
use the same account because I, I have a lot of data regarding that store and it's like almost scratching from um, starting from scratch data wise. Since your ads are still active, you should be able to continue. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know what's exactly happening because if my ad account was banned or something, at least the delivery should be shown that uh, your account is banned or something. But it's just that when I launch new ad set, it shows me uh, C errors. And when I click C errors, uh, there's nothing. Like it doesn't show any errors on ad, ad level. Correct. So you should be able to go ahead and just do that strategy that I just mentioned. Yeah. In the restrict, in the restrictions, it said can't use or manage ad accounts, can't create or run ads, can't manage advertising assets of people for businesses. And, uh, but in disabled ad sets, it has disabled ad sets only from my personal account and not which I'm using right now. That's correct. So it looks like your personal Facebook ad account can no longer advertise, but your business manager and the account, ad account underneath it, this is still active. But Naraj and Naraj personal can no longer advertise. So you can go ahead and use your mom's account or your brother's account and attach it to this CM. And now you can advertise. Okay, got you, got you. So this one, thanks. No longer advertise. Naraj can no longer advertise. But you can add in a different person and advertise. Now the scary thing is when this your business manager gets banned. Luckily, that hasn't happened. And also, you yeah. can appeal it. Try appeal your decision as well. Just see if you get lucky. So I should use just uh, the appeal from the course. Uh, do it and tweak it just because everyone uses it. So Facebook sort of knows that template. So tweak it around. Yeah, 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 obviously. <laughs> awesome. Hi, thanks, Andy. I like to podcast. Let me know if you have any questions, Naraj. I'm loving the posts that you're putting on the portal. Um, really appreciate it. Yeah, keep, keep you posted. Keep me, um, keep active and we'll all talk soon, guys. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Hi, Andy. Bye. What's the appropriate shipping time? Because I know there's some pro uh, shippers out there that have...